Hi there. Welcome to the practice questions on being able to manipulate certs. What I'd like you to do now is to pause the video, have a go at simplifying these four questions, and then restart the video and go through the model answers with me. So pause the video now and have a go at questions one, two, three, and four. Hi, welcome back. Let's now go through these four questions together. What we're asked to do here is to simplify the following expressions. They're in third form. We want to try and rationalise these if possible. I'll get them into it, their simplest form. So if we look at the first one here, root 32. Now this is using the first law of thirds, which states that if you have root A and you multiply it by root B, that is the same as having root A times B. So here we're, we're working this in reverse. We're looking for two numbers and we're looking for one of them to be a square number that multiply together to give 32. Those can be our two roots. So here I can see that 16 times 2 will multiply to give me 32 and 16 is a square number. So I can split this root into root 16 times root 2. But root 16 can be rationalised because root 16 is 4. So our answer just simply becomes 4 times root 2. We don't write the times sign, it just becomes 4 root 2 in its simplest form. Question 2. Same type of question, but what we need to do here is to get these so we've got two roots that are the same. So we need to simplify this one. I can see that if I do root 9 times root 10, I'm going to get 90. So this one would be root 9 times root 10. Well, root 9 is 3, so this simplifies to 3 root 10. This one will simplify to root 4 times root 10. And root 4 will rationalise to 2 root 10. Now what I've got is I've got 3 lots of root 10 added to 2 lots of root 10. We can add the roots together if they're the same uh, integer inside the roots. It's just like having 3x plus 2x. You could add that together, but if it was 3x plus 2y, the roots were different, you couldn't. But this now just becomes 5 root 10. Question 3. Again, the same type of question, um, but we need to make sure that the roots that we're getting out of these when we simplify them are the same roots. Well, this one would be root 7 times root 25. That multiplies to give 175. Root 25 is 5, so I can simplify this to 5 root 7. And 63 can be simplified to root 9 times root 7. Root 9 can be rationalised to 3, so I get 3 root 7. The roots now are the same. I can add them together to give me an answer of 8 root 7. This one here is a little bit trickier. Um, we could go about it um, by, well, we're going to go about it by simplifying this top number here, the root 27. So this can simplify into 9 and th root 9 and root 3. So if we have root 9 times root 3, that's going to give us 27. That's all divided by root 3. Root 9 can be rationalised, and that gives us 3 root 3 divided by 3. You should be able to see here that because we're times in two things on the top, we can divide <coughs> excuse me, we can divide the 3 by the 3 to give us 1 root 3 over 1. We don't have to write anything over 1. Anything over 1 just stays as what the answer is on the top. So it's 1 root 3. We don't need to write the 1. So our answer just simplifies here to root 3. 